It's the spookiest time of the year, and you know what that means. Pumpkins with holes cut in them, tiny Draculas ringing your doorbell demanding sweets, and some excellent deals on spooky games in the Xbox Store thanks to the Shocktober sale. Whether you're a hardcore horror veteran or the most cowardly of custards, there's a skelly ton of great games to pick from in this sales spooktacular. So to help you pick out the right level of scary just for you, we've deployed our patented Xbox on Spookometer to give each game a rating out of 10. Ooh. What's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. So where's your dad? Let's start with the daddy of all horror game franchises, Resident Evil. The Shocktober sale includes a whole horde of these classic zombie dodgers, but our pick has to be this year's stunning remake of Resident Evil 2, which is half price this week. You pick between Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield and try to help them survive the zombie invasion of Raccoon City. Each character's campaign will take you a different route through the story with unique scares, so with this discount you're basically getting twice the game for half the price, just as long as your nerves can take it. Resident Evil 2 is constantly tense. It's an easy 8 or 9 out of 10 on the spookometer. But whenever the unstoppable Mr. X makes an appearance, it pushes it up to a full 10. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I didn't believe in life. Maybe you've already got all the Resident Evil games and are looking for something in the same bloody vein. Then look no further than The Evil Within 2, the latest game from original Resi director Shinji Mikami, which has 70% off its price. The Evil Within 2 is set in an open world. Well, it would be nice, except said world is infested with monsters. Got monsters with cameras for faces, or saw blades for arms, or with limbs growing out of their chests. Not one for the squeamish, then, is it, Benny? We give it a spook rating of eight. Oh no, he's gonna have the drug on him. He's gonna, he's got a gun. He's gonna shoot someone. He's gonna shoot someone thinking they're a bad guy. Next up, with its price slashed by a third, is Man of Medan. This is the first installment of the Dark Pictures anthology, the series that casts you as a director of your own horror movie. In this case, about a group exploring a ghost ship which disappeared during World War II. You choose who lives and who dies as you guide the story towards one of dozens of possible endings. If you want to share the role of director, there's a two-player online co-op mode, or you can gather up to five friends around the telly for the Pass the Controller movie night mode, where you're each assigned one character. Which at least means there'll be someone there to comfort you when things get creepy. Making the director's chair look almost as scary as the dentist's chair, Man of Medan is a solid... What do you think, Benny? I'd say a seven, but Leah, next time, don't kill Sean Ashmore. Okay, jump! No, don't jump! You Why said you were ready jumped? to catch me! Why have you jumped? You said you were ready to catch me! Why did you do that? Why would you jump? Between all the trolls and vampires and wraiths, there are plenty of monsters to fear in the world of The Witcher. But like your mum always used to tell you about spiders, they're probably more scared of you than you are of them. I don't know if that argument ever works. For me. The argument is a little bit more convincing here though because you play the most feared monster hunter in all the land, Geralt of Rivia. It's probably only a 2 on the spookometer, but it's a 10 out of 10 bargain and a great game. You can pick up the base game for 70% off this week, but we recommend plumping for the Witcher 3 Game of the Year edition for the same discount. For just a little bit more money, you get both the game's expansions, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, which add an extra 50 hours of story and expand the game world by a third. You'd have to hunt far and wide to get a better deal than that. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, tonight we, the free people of the resistance, ask you to become one of us. It's a similar situation with our next deal. Wolfenstein 2 at the New Colossus pits you against history's greatest monsters, while Doom is more interested in demons from the far future. But in both cases, you've got the upper hand and an awful lot of guns. There are a lot of gory murders with axes and chainsaw kills, but you're mostly the one delivering them, so as long as you've got a strong stomach, these games should be fine even for the most easily scared players. You can pick up a bundle of Doom and Wolfenstein 2 for just a third of the regular price in the Shocktober sale. 
For an even better deal though, remember that both games are currently available as part of your Xbox Game Pass subscription. Right, so, Spookometer, right, Doom and Wolfenstein 2. How oh, scary. Just but boring. it's in hell! <laughs> it is in hell, hell is quite scary. <laughs> I'd say like four. If that. I, I, I can go with a four. Mm, no, four. Four. Four on the Spookometer. There are mistakes we fear and wrongs that haunt us. Next is back to traditional horror titles with 20% off Blair Witch. Like the film, it's based on the best horror here is all about what you can't see. The game drops you into the Black Hills forest to search for a missing child, and as you push deeper into the woods, weird things start to happen, often just at the edge of your vision. <laughs> Blair Witch is another game you can pick up with Xbox Game Pass, but however you choose to pick it up, know that this is a proper creep fest. We give it seven unseen terrors out of ten. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. And if you like your horror psychological, then good news. The Amnesia Collection is 70% off this week. This one bundle gets you the original game, Dark Descent, and its expansion, Justine, plus the sequel, A Machine for Pigs. All three games are very different, taking you from a gothic castle to a Victorian slaughterhouse. But they've all got one thing in common. You're going to want to wear your brown trousers. There aren't many jump scares, but they were. The Amnesia Collection is a full 10 on the Spookometer. Despite the title, this is a trilogy of horror games you won't forget anytime soon. Which can be a mixed blessing when it comes to turning off the TV and realizing you're alone in the dark and what's that noise in the next room? There is no need to be concerned. Next up, a game so scary, it comes with a safe mode option to stop its monsters hunting you down and killing you. Soma is 70% off. The next game from the developers of Amnesia The Dark Descent, Soma relocates the scares to a sci-fi setting where you can't be quite sure what's real and what's just in your head. And even if you do choose to play it safe, it's still a creepily atmospheric game. The setting just dials it down from an 8 spectrometer to a, a 5 or a 6, depending on how you feel about being trapped at the bottom of the ocean with a load of robots who think they're human. In venturing north, Pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. They might not be traditionally considered horror games, but the Dark Souls games give you plenty to scream about. You can pick up the remastered edition of the original Dark Souls for half price, or Dark Souls 2 and 3 at just a quarter of their usual price. Whichever game you pick, you'll soon be praising the sun and cursing your own failing reactions as another enemy bests you. They've all got an unsettling atmosphere and some creepy enemy designs, but the scariest thing about Dark Souls is dying right before you get to the next bonfire and losing thousands of hard-earned souls. That alone has to be worth, I don't know, an 8 out of 10 on the scarily difficult rating. An 8? There's no way an 8. Dark Souls is not scary. It's like a 2. Scarily difficult, Benny. It's a 2. Chat. No, no, no. no. Com <laughs> comments down below, 2 or an 8. It's definitely a 2. Get over here. Next up, a game that's not so much scary as it is exceptionally gory. Mortal Kombat 11, which is 40% off in the Shocktober sale. 11 continues the series tradition of gory fatalities. Get your opponent on the ropes and you can finish them off by pulling off their arms or exploding their heart or just straight up pulling out their spine and showing it to them. That sort of violence earns it a solid five on a spookometer and higher still if you happen to have a fear of Austrian killer robots. Yep, the G800 Arnold Schwarzenegger himself has just been added to the game, complete with his own repertoire of bloody moves to celebrate the release of the new movie Terminator Dark Fate. He'll soon be joined by comic characters Spawn and the Joker, and you can get them all with the combat pack, which also happens to be 40% off this week. With 75% off, Little Nightmare's price is almost as tiny as the raincoat-wearing child you steer through this puzzle platformer. She's trapped in a world as big as it is horrible and pursued by its enormous and grotesque inhabitants who want to eat her. If you've never had a nightmare about a gigantic chef who looks like a shuffling doner kebab before, you will after you play this. There might be a touch of the stop-motion cuteness to the graphics, but don't be fooled, this is one of the creepiest games you can pick up this week. On the official Xbox on Spookometer, Little Nightmares gets uh, a 7, just because of that chef. 
What is up, my bandit legions? God Queen Tyreen coming at you live with my brother Troy. Okay, finally something that's not really a scary game at all, but is a scarily good deal. You can pick up the deluxe edition of the basically brand new Borderlands 3 for 20% off this week. That gets you the base game, plus some exclusive guns, an XP drop mod, and a ton of skins for your Vault Hunters and their weapons. Or if you're really feeling fancy, you can grab the Super Deluxe for 25% off, including a season pass, which will get you access to four DLC packs with new stories and missions. The game is getting into the seasonal spirit with its Halloween-themed event, Bloody Harvest. That runs from today through to the start of December, adding a spooky new boss and legendary weapon. Even so, it's still probably a 0 out of 10 on the spookometer, but on the equally important loads of guns meter Borderlands is an 11. Easy. Apocalypse party! We blowing up this whole motherfucker! And now, the scariest bit of all. We've got no more deals for you this week. But the Xbox Store does. Check out the Shocktober sale for many, many more cut price games and let us know if there are any horrifying gems we've missed down in the comments. And of course, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy your Halloween treats. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.